Hi guys, it's me Lori. I am coming to show you a journal I made for another YouTuber. Uh, her name is Michelle and um, her channel name is Chicken by the Lake. And uh, I think she's real sweet. And I love how she talks to her chickens and her animals, all her dogs. She just really has a way with animals. So if you want to go check her out, her channel is Chickens by the Lake. So this is the cover and it says, enjoy the little things and journey. And I got this page off the internet and I don't really, uh, I don't, I think it's public domain. There may be some things in here that are not public domain and if there are, well, I'm sorry, I'm not selling it. So it's, it's okay. This is a cattail that will not go away. He will not move. So we're just going to include him in this video. This is the, the inside and it uh, opens and I just put a piece of paper in there. Isn't she cute? Her little duck. So cute. And it says family, father, mother, boy, love and story. Because she has a son and a husband and they have a sweet love story. And it also has a place here you can tuck things in. So I put some um, agenda papers in there. She does not raise chickens. Uh, not, no, no, no. She raises chickens, but she doesn't raise roosters. And there are several roosters in here, but they are so pretty. So I left them. I covered a few because I didn't think they were so pretty. So I covered those up with chickens, but some of these roosters are phenomenal. So I just left them. So, um, there's lots of tags in here. I'm not going to show every tag because we all know what the tags are. We, most of these are Tim Holtz or things I got off the internet and I printed them. Um, thank you. I printed them on the paper she could uh, write on. Oh, and I made these tags. So cute. Okay, so then it has a strawberry paper clip. And um, everything in here, well, some things in here, some things don't. But I tried to add things in here that would um, pertain to her life. Strawberries definitely pertain to her life. And I added this thing that says focus on the good. And I think that's a chicken or a rooster. I don't know. I think it's a chicken. Ah, got to get that back on there. But I want the strawberry to show there. Okay. I use a lot of vintage lace in here. I use burlap um, uh, pieces from a cotton bed sheet that I ripped apart. So uh, this is an envelope and I tucked a little piece of paper with a chicken on it in there. And uh, this chicken came off the internet. He's so cute. And I think I found that on the internet too. And I used my um, Stampin' Up! Tab punch. And then this page, it says photos and it has farm and garden tools. I just love it. This is a page that came out of a scrap kit and it's a story about chickens. And then the other side uh, she can write on. And this has an old piece of paper tucked in there. Again, um, this just is an advertisement I got off the internet. Piece of paper. Uh, tucked in there. I know this is for Christmas, but I just loved it, so I put it in there. And uh, I this was an ugly rooster, so I put some chickens over it. But isn't he beautiful? Oh, he's beautiful. And he makes a pocket right there. I just added some hinges and made a pocket. And then there's a picture of a bird. She likes birds a lot. And some more tags in there. Uh, bird eggs and a chicken. And I liked that. I thought it kind of looked like a feather. After I was using it, I thought it looked like a feather. Maybe a couple. Or it could be um, a branch. I don't know. It's pretty. And isn't he beautiful? What a beautiful rooster. 
They love yard sales and they always have such good times when they go yard selling together. So those ones fit there. I use that again somewhere in here. And uh, this says dream big and it's got some chickens and roosters. I think that's an ostrich. I don't know what that is, but it's got a big neck. And uh, so this, this is the other side to the envelope. This is the flip. And I always leave these in and I always leave them exposed. So just in case um, the person who receives this, or me, wants to add a page, they can just glue a page in. Like these make great pen holders or pencil holders when you put them in junk journals. So really easy. You could put that there and then you would just have a place to um, put your pencil or your pen or whatever you're writing with. Or if you want to add uh, paper clips in here, whatever. So I always leave that there to add a couple more pages. And this music paper is significant also because her husband is a musician. And uh, isn't he beautiful? Oh, he's so beautiful. And just another, like, ice cream, because they love ice cream. So there's an ice cream cone. And um, isn't this tag beautiful? That is such a pretty rooster. He is a Japanese bantam. And, yes, I know, another rooster. But he's beautiful. And this one was not beautiful, so I added this one that says, Kiss your chicken. Kiss your chicken. Sounds perverted. Let's not go there. Okay, so then a daily agenda thing with another little paper clip to hold that in because it slides out. And a pretty bird because she likes birds too, not just chickens. And she is the queen of her castle. And I think this goes down here. She admittedly is the boss. And uh, this is Rise and Shine because she's always got to get up and uh, go do her chickens. And it says enjoy the day. And all that is is a piece of lace and I uh, took a couple of the burlap threads and stapled it down. That's all it is. I love these, the little, uh, where they just flip through their different sizes. Cat hair, oh God, the cat. And another page, isn't he beautiful? What a fancy rooster. Oh man, he has got to be the fanciest rooster. All pomp and sass, he's pretty. And there's the other place I used that little yard sale thing. I just shrunk it down and put it in there. And I put funny because she'll get it. You know, they always love to go yard sailing. And I put it over a rooster that was right there because he didn't fit. And he's just an American leghorn. No, no, no. He's a Brahma. And some corn because they love corn on the cob. I am not a corn on the cob fan. I prefer my corn cut off the cob and then sauteed with a little butter and black pepper. That's how I like my corn. And this says chicken chit chat. It's a game. I never played it, but it's cute. Got it off the internet. I got this egg account thing off the internet where she can keep track of how many eggs she gets. If she's interested. And some baby chicks and an egg on a, uh, um, you know, library card. I was going to get that one or the other. Here's a little bingo card. I backed it on some uh, green scrap card stock, and it says beach. And um, on some lace and some cotton with a little burlap thread. And isn't he beautiful? He is a beautiful rooster. And just for fun, because she loves puzzles, and they love chickens, so two chickens at the beach. And it's like a puzzle. I don't know. I found that online. on like a place where you buy puzzles. So cute. Oh, and it's got some scrap paper in there for her to write on. 
but that really cracked me up, those chickens. Oh, I think that might be two pages. Yep, he's pretty. And I know these are roosters, but there are chickens mixed in all over. So it's just you can ride on the back of that. And there's nothing really there. So we have a little flip. So this is a really simple journal um, because I don't think Michelle is used to junk journals. So I figured the simpler, the easier it were to use. You know, like um, I know when I first got into junk journals and uh, I did a swap and it had all the tuck spots and the hidden places to make it interactive. And I really didn't use it all. I just took all the tags out. I don't think I ever used those tags in that journal. I used them in other journals, but I didn't um, use them at that time because I didn't really understand. I was used to um, just bullet journaling is what I used to do. And I made albums like Kathy Orta albums. But then once I got into junk journaling, I never went back. Well, you can really tell that finger got broke. I broke that finger. It's really crooked. Anyhow, uh, isn't he pretty? He's looking over on the sunflowers. And every junk journal has to have a doily, but it doesn't. You know, there's no law where the journal has to have the doily. So I use my doily here, and I just made a little... um place to look at and it says relax and slow down and how the shakers cook and then cook of the country because she loves to cook she didn't always love to cook there's a story in there you um you just have to go watch it but she didn't like to cook until she got around her sister-in-law and then then she cooked but she does say her mom was a very good cook <clears throat> i made that tag isn't it cute you don't have to think it's cute honest i thought it was cute though so, um, yeah, and then this represents her little duck, Edith. Now, I didn't include her dogs in here, but I did include some pictures where she could um, put her dogs in wherever she feels like she wants to journal about them. But this represents her duck, Edith. And uh, here's some, just some baby chicks, this little thing I got off the Internet. Again, I stole it off the Internet. And then this is, um, you know, a little envelope. Yes, this is an envelope. <laughs> and it says, count your blessings. You are one of a kind. There's no one in the world like you. You are amazing. And guess who said that? Richard Simmons said that, I guess. And then this just is some extras that I added in here. Uh, this is um, stuff I didn't use that I wanted to use, but I didn't, so I just included them. Even though I know she doesn't raise roosters, there were a lot of roosters left. And another picture of Edith, so she can uh, use it. And then, isn't that too cute? But then some pictures of her family are in here also, and her animals, so that she can add those in when she wants, if she wants. Not my place. So, okay, this is the journal that I made Michelle for Chickens Down, no, Chickens by the Lake. And um, this is the back. It's just got some burlap and some lace and just some place to hold on to. And then this is the back. Did I show you the back? Isn't that so cute? I stole that off the internet too. Okay, so I've stolen everything I could off the internet to make this journal. And there are a few scrap kits that I took pieces out of. And I hope she loves it. And I hope you didn't mind watching me show it. So you guys have a great rest of your week. And the weekend is coming up because today is Thursday. See you guys later. Bye.